today I want to show you this device here. It's called Trippy, a special navigation system where our entire tour had been programmed in before in every detail. And see, this is our very last leg from Seattle to Vancouver. And here we are, after more than 11,000 kilometers, we have reached the last destination on the American continent. From Los Angeles, the F-Cell Worldwide made its way up the west coast of the United States. We mastered the steep hills of San Francisco and, of course, we crossed the Golden Gate Bridge. But after sunny days in the fertile hills of Northern California, the skies turned grey. Just a couple of days after the dry deserts of Arizona and New Mexico, the F-Cell World Drive has made it up into the windy and wet mountains of Oregon. And guess what? The last two days, a celebrity has been with us on the road, Joshua Jackson. Bringing you the beautiful weather. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that. Joshua Jackson, starring in the TV series Fringe, went on a two-day ride in Oregon, not only for fun and for the beautiful scenery, a truly eco-friendly actor wants to use his popularity to encourage people to try new technologies that he thinks could change the planet. It feels like the quietest production car I've ever been in in my life. We're not talking about drawing board technology 15, 20 years down the line. We're talking about things that are, I mean, I'm sitting in a car that's being powered by electrons separated from hydrogen that's actually directly under your bum right now. <laughs> After two more rainy days on the drive, we reached Seattle. By the way, can snow or rain somehow affect the function of a fuel cell car? No, not at all. The, the vehicles, they just run as standard vehicles. Weather is not a problem. We have since two days, we have really raining cats and dogs. No problem at all. In Vancouver, our F-cells caused quite a stir. At a press conference, Mercedes-Benz announced the building of a fuel cell stack production nearby. The stack is the core of the F-cell propulsion. And British Columbia's Premier Minister Christy Clark took the opportunity to check out how it feels to drive an F-cell. It feels exactly like any other um, car. Well, except that it's a Mercedes-Benz. This is the road book where the tour has been described for us drivers. See, Seattle, Vancouver, and now the American road book is closed. See you again down under in Australia.